no, you know, sometimes I think people see my passion, man. I mean, I, I do things because also I have a name to protect here in Cabo. I think if you talk about anybody who has walked the walk here, what has come to help and well, that it's my name will, not, will be the first one to, you know, not to brag, but anything, because I have done, I, this is something I used to fight over the years. And with that as well, I'm trying to be very careful, you know, quite associate my name. Because this is a small community as well. So what I do, when I saw the Alexis, you know what I mean, we contacted, I, when we heard that you were doing this amazing, I asked my team to contact with you guys. You know, lucky Alexis responded. I remember having his, his meeting because also for me that owner tells me a lot. I had the feeling he's a great guy and uh, I met him with his son. I'm like, I want to be part of you and let me help you, you know. With that also, that say a lot. When the developer is willing to hire someone to design a gym, what does it tell you for the rest of the product? So for me, I'm not saying because just I know I'm not cheap. If he was, if I just like to do, he would just go buy some equipment and put it there. But he wants something that's well done, but also quality. And that's telling you anything that he's going to put in there, you better be, you know, uh, in peace because just I'm 100% you're going to have a great product. Wow, being in the fitness and wellness industry, 15 years, I started in LA, and I've been in Cabo for 13 years, but when it's come to the gym design, I've been uh, over a decade, you know, about 11, 12 years. That's a good question. You know, when I design gyms, you know, there's four main areas I focus on. Because it's not about me, it's about the, the homeowners, it's not about me. And I always tell this to people, if you try to do it like, oh, because Modu love but can Modu love to do work by the body weight, I'm not going to put machine down. It's not about me. You know, that's why they hire me. And what I do when I design gyms, I focus in four areas. One of them is a functional area where anybody, the young kid, you know, the pro athlete, the grandpa and the grandma can use a functional area. And then you got the selectorized equipment. The selectorized is anybody who doesn't know anything about gym. You come here as a guest at your house and I don't know anything about gym, but I'm going to go check out the gym. You come in, you can go on the treadmill on the electrical, then also you can do some of the machine that explain you what to do. It's a chest machine, it's a leg press. Very self-explanatory. You know, then you go now to the wellness area, where again, people who are, you know what, I don't want to, all I want is do yoga. Where I just want to do meditation. Yo. So I'm going to be, okay, you do your heart. And last but not least, it's the freeway. Yeah. So those are the four main areas I always focus. You know, as a husband and a wife, if someone wants CrossFit, Someone wants just to call them, oh, you go left, I go right, we meet at the house. I want to create a, you know, an environment which where a kid, a couple, and a grandpa or grandma can all share the same environment. 